and dare I say this evening, was De Santos representing the armband for the Blues. As for the Knights, not in their white shining armour, but in their dark blue away jersey. In jersey, I should say. Yanni Peter, Seb Lok, Yamasaki Masato, and Sinan Gulak. All under the captaincy of Ronaldo Forsfield Sadic. Of the goal. As the Santos off the bar again. Cardo in close range. No mistake from Andra Cardo. Deadlock broken. The Blues continuing in their rich vein of form. The opportunity gone and begging via the post on two occasions. Cardo upon the third clear cut chance. Makes the intervention. Cooper. Pimenta flicking towards Cooper. It's a brilliant move from Moreland. It's their second. Milton Sakos would have had that instilled right from the training court. A brilliant team goal. Catapults them into their second. Altona looking for some answers. All into routine in their defensive display. Now they close up shot. Juricic getting in the way. And let it fly, Juricic! That is fantastic! Stemmed from the his right boot. Hit like a cannonball. That's one way to claw yourself back into the contest. It looked like the shot might have been on. As he glimpsed towards his right, you thought he was going to go for the pass. And allowing Ali to venture forward. Dos Santos measured the attempt off the bar. Unfortunate for Frano Sadic. Dos Santos has closed in on a hat trick of post hits, but finally gets the third goal for the Blues, albeit against the run of play. One use. And a couple of more shirts he had to get away from. Dos Santos got away and grabbed his second. Too powerful, too precise, and too pristine is Kevin De Santos for the Moreland Blues. They extend out to their biggest margin of the contest thus far. 4 1 the score. Right on the cusp of half time. Minute only left. 10 seconds left. They have to go quickly. Defadia. What he let fly. De Souza got in the way. There's a poor. Tried an upper dopper move. It had worked initially. Is there a last attempt to Zaris and the half-time Zara and say no to Kevin Dos Santos, who is chasing the hat-trick. But quite the performance from Milton Sarkos' troops. They head into half-time. Four goals to one against the Knights. Cats and dogs. As De Souza unkind yet again to Frano Sadic. Deflecting, dare I say, on his way through. He has not had any luck this evening. The nice goalkeeper, and that has continued to be the narrative in the second half. Morland extend to a four goal buffer, 5 1 on the scoreboard. Bold strategy from the newly found player, and Gulak showcases why well, you cannot make that mistake. All the time and the space in the world for the number nine to roam into. And yet again, the goalkeeper can't really do much about that. Quite the sumptuous finish as Peter steals it from Sequeria. Chance for Altona. Two and two seconds. They've catapulted themselves firmly back into the contest. Two goals stemming from absolutely nowhere. As Saric caught upon as well. This contest well and truly open at the minute. Here is Robson. Lock getting in the way. Yanni Peter's on for the pass. Chance for Altona. Taken by Yanni Peter. They're a goal in it. Quite the contest. This has been painted out to be 5 4 the score. Six minutes and 30 seconds remain in it. And Altona certainly making some claims for a shock comeback result. Cooper back towards the Santos, they're eight seconds away from the three points, which has been such a battle for them to earn. 
There's two seconds for a last ditch attempt. Sardich went long. Seblock was the target. But that's all she wrote. What a contest between the Blues and the Knights with more than prevailing. They were really made to earn the three points. Full credit to the Knights. They stood tall.